As the nation celebrates our independence, a local man is remembering a historic figure who helped defend it. Tonight, 2 News has confirmed the death of Tuskegee Airman H.M. Cummings. Dave DeMarco just spoke with his nephew about how he'll be remembered. Dave? Kenan, Cummings' nephew shares the same first name of Herndon with his uncle. He hopes that Tuskegee Airmen will continue to be taught in history books, but luckily he says he learned about them firsthand. It's a graduation photo that needs explanation to understand its significance. H.M. Cummings was part of the Tuskegee Airmen who weren't trying to break the sound barrier, but a color barrier that prevented them from flying. They trained at a segregated Alabama base before joining the U.S. military. Of course, I was a baby, uh, what, three months old? But my mother did take me to his uh, graduation. Cummings faced discrimination trying to become a commercial pilot, but never gave up his joy of flying. Me and my sister had our first airplane ride with our uncle at the controls, so it, it was a wonderful thing. Most of the thousand airmen listed here died before our nation elected its first African-American president. But Cummings survived and traveled to Washington weeks before his 90th birthday to see the inauguration of Barack Obama. I'd say his was even more intense than mine. He, uh, he was a happy man to be there. Today, as America celebrates our independence, Cummings' nephew is thinking about how his uncle helped create the diverse nation so many people say makes us the greatest country in which to live. <laughs> We're Americans. And... Uh, Despite the hardships from time to time that we had to endure and face, you know, and uh, still face from day to day, uh, this is our country. Cummings will be laid to rest at St. Philip's Episcopal Church in Columbus Tuesday. Reporting live, I'm Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side.